It is February 8th, 2022. It's Tuesday. It's Harp Tuesday. Welcome to this week's episode. So today I'm going to talk about muffling a note before you change the lever. So this is becomes a necessity, right? If we play a string and have it vibrating, and then we want to change that lever. Because it makes... It makes a noise. Now, of course, in some pieces, that's maybe part of it, like a, a lever slide or glide. But in general, we, we don't want that noise. Now, of course, this can vary because sometimes maybe we are play a note and you could hear that still, but maybe if that was soft and this next chord was loud, it could mask the sound of the lever changing might also depend on your levers, again, how loud you're playing, how fast you're playing, how long that note has had to dissipate. So the same piece, somebody might feel they have to muffle and somebody else, it might be fine not to muffle. But in general, if we've played a string and it's still ringing and we're changing it, that lever, we would like to muffle that string. So of course we can go, for example, and do that. But that means First of all, it's muffling everything else. What if we've got some other notes down here that we don't really want to muffle? Maybe ideally we wouldn't want to muffle this, but we have to. But we'd like to kind of pinpoint and just have the option of only muffling that one string. And also, this actually takes a certain amount of time. And so we'd like to maybe be even more efficient so that we can do this even faster if we have to like play and then muffle and change, right? So. I'll, I'll show you what I do, uh, as well as a couple other options. So for me, what I find easiest in general is to use the thumb. So I, I, that, this of course is part of the uh, box prelude number one in C. Um, and it is a great example because we're often playing some notes and, and then changing them. Now, did I need to muffle that? I could maybe have waited even longer to change it. Maybe not, depending on how wait, long I wait to change it, but I would like to muffle it. So what I will do is I'll use the thumb to maybe potentially start raising the hand up a little bit on the way to the lever place the thumb, not exactly as if I were going to play it. So if you can see, here's a sort of playing position. My hand position might be slightly different. I'm, I'm kind of extending that finger out, straightening that finger, thumb, sorry, that thumb, in a different way to stop this. And of course, placing firmly enough that, that we don't get a buzz like that, that that we place firmly on it, but again, I'm not trying to play it, so I don't have to feel that I grip it or anything. Stop it and then grab the string and change it. Now, a couple modifications with that. One would be that you could, of course, muffle that as you change the lever down. So that's not something I am particularly practiced at, but that is potentially, something even more efficient because it becomes kind of one motion instead of one or two motions. So we play, muffle, change, or play, muffle, and change. The downside of that is that it is hard to see how that would work going up, right? So if I'm going and trying to change this up, I have to grab that with my thumb. Now I could go and try and maybe muffle this way with the base of the hand. But again, I think I run into a little bit of problems of muffling some of the surrounding notes instead of just being able to. You can hear how those kept ringing. So, and, and I, I kind of like the fact that the the some maneuver works whether regardless of whether I'm moving the lever up or down. And again, just to demonstrate it, so I'm playing, maybe I'll do it from here. Muffle, change, or 
more. Now, what if it's the opposite? So here I'm finishing with a thumb and then I'm muffling that. That makes perfect sense. But what if I were going down and changing this G? So you could, of course, then stop with two. And again, you can see I'm not necessarily needing to place it as if I were going to play it, but I might try to go up the string a little bit, stop it, and change. Or I might decide that the thumb is still the best option. What if it were, say, with three? I could try to muffle with three. That might work. Or I could muffle with a thumb. You know, I, I, again, that might depend on the piece and what's comfortable for you. But again, that principle of being able to just muffle by placing, almost as if you were going to play, but not quite, placing on a string and then immediately bouncing up and changing it. So in this prelude, there's one uh, spot where, so in general, it actually works great because it's always the last thumb note and then we just can muffle it and change. But there is this. It's, it's high, you know, gotta jump out of your seat to try to get this high F sharp. And in that case, because I'm doing open octaves here and I play open octaves with three and one, I'm just reaching that third finger out again, not trying to grab it as if I'm going to play it. So just stopping it and from there going straight up to change it. Now I could try and use the thumb, but especially because it's so far away, uh, the third finger feels easiest for me. So that's just something that it's worth Doing some practice, I think, if you if you encounter that in a piece, that idea of being able to play, stop that again, maybe with two, maybe with a thumb, whatever finger, but stop that and then change and then go ahead and find whatever comes next. So yeah, I hope that gives you some ideas and I'd love to hear in the comments as well if you have a particular technique that you use to muffle, again, to be able to maybe muffle as you change. Or, or like this or something like that. Uh, because again, sometimes we have, you know, we don't have a lot of time. We have to muffle and change and then maybe get back and play the next note and, and it can be quite quite intense. So being as efficient as possible then is obviously is, is very good. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Hope that's been useful and I will see you in two weeks for another episode of Harp.